board, the board members themselves, the team that Brent has around her, they had no doubt. Jim Rode, I believe, never doubted that we would get to this point. He and his fellow board members and the team at the Saskatoon Health Region, I, they, were, they were positive we would get to this point. Successive health ministers, I don't think doubted that we would get to this point. Don McMorris and now Dustin Duncan, who have done a lot of work to get the government to the point where we're at to be able to make the contribution that we have. Saskatoon MLAs, I don't think, ever doubted. They kept pressing forward and making this case. But it has been a journey. It's been a number of years. It was noted it was 2009 when the original commitment, when the promise was made. And the journey started with the basics. We had to find some money to build it, some significant investment to build it. At the time, we were owners, half owners of a fertilizer plant near Belle Plain, and while that had turned out to be a reasonably good investment, we thought maybe the government ought not to be in the fertilizer business, but we should definitely be in the business of building new health care facilities in the province. And so with the privatization of that asset, we put set aside $200 million as a start and committed not to touch it until we could get to the point where we're at today. That's how the journey began. But even from the government's perspective, but even before that, the journey was underway by the foundation, by families, by those who believe that Saskatchewan ought not to be one of two provinces that does not have a children's hospital in the Dominion of Canada. And so through countless individual efforts and letters and advocacy and fundraising, the journey had begun already and was being continued formally by the foundation and informally by those who support it. And there have been radiothons and there have been barbecues and silent auctions and loud auctions and medium auctions and auctions in Scottsdale, Arizona. 300 fundraisers just this year alone. The amount of work that's been done by the foundation and its volunteers is remarkable. These events have been part of the journey. Thousands of individual donations over the years have been part of the journey that has got us to this point, including the donation from Les and Irene. It's been noted. The largest that any children's hospital foundation has received in our country, $6.5 million. I think it's worthy of a, of a thank you through them too to all the other individual donors as well. And from the region's perspective and the foundation's perspective and government's perspective, the journeys include a lot of planning, a lot of work listening to families in terms of the design of this children's hospital. Two different adjustments from a budgeting standpoint, where we heard from the region and the foundation that the government needed to step forward with a little bit more money. Two occasions where that occurred. Where the Minister of Health, more, most recently Minister Duncan, went to caucus and went to cabinet and helped make the case that was being made by all of you that the province is growing, and that we need to make sure we get this right, that it's right sized. And we also wanted to ensure that this was configured in the most effective and efficient way possible, this hospital. And that's why we use lean. There I said it. We use lean in the design of this facility. We saved 15%, $30 million to get us to the right facility, the right hospital for our kids. That was sort of the formal elements or partners in the journey, but there was a lot of other people taking their own steps down this path, including Elizabeth Smith from Saskatoon, who's here today. Elizabeth is 86 years old. And when she heard the news about the children's hospital two years ago, she decided to get knitting. She wanted to knit blankets for the newborns. She was worried some families wouldn't have the means to buy a nice blanket for their child. Elizabeth was slowed by a bad case of pneumonia. So she spent five weeks in the hospital, and while she was there, she kept knitting. At last count, she's knitted 100 blankets, and she's still going strong. Irene Dubé has been crocheting blankets for the past two years and plans to have a blanket for every child when the hospital opens. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a children's hospital in Saskatchewan. We're also going to have a blanket surplus in Saskatchewan. Perhaps these particular examples of those who've taken this journey remind us really why we're all here, remind us why we went through the planning and the budgeting and all of that formal work. We're here because of children today and 
tomorrow's children in Saskatchewan. This is a community project for our children. It's an innovative project for our children. It will help us recruit and retain the best pediatric and maternal health care specialists for our children. It will offer state-of-the-art neonatal intensive care for our babies. Patients from around the province will be able to land on a rooftop helipad and receive top quality emergency services because we're here for our children. We will create Saskatchewan's first dedicated pediatric surgical suite for our kids. That has been the vision all along by those who have shared it. That was the vision years ago. That is the vision today for a children's hospital. The pre-work has been significant, but it's done. It's time to build the children's hospital.